Hi viewers, you are watching Millennium Academy Accounting Hub. Dear students, in this lecture we will learn efficiency or turnover ratios in details. So let's start. Turnover or activity ratios are also known as efficiency ratios. These are a group of financial metrics used to measure the efficiency with which a company uses its assets to generate revenue. They provide insights into a company's operational efficiency and its ability to manage its assets and liabilities effectively. There are several different types of efficiency ratios, but some of the most common include Accounts Receivable Turnover Ratio Accounts Payable Turnover Ratio Inventory Turnover Ratio Total Assets Turnover Ratio and Fixed Assets Turnover Ratio The Accounts Receivable Turnover Ratio also known as the debtor's turnover ratio. It is a financial ratio that measures how many times a company converts its average accounts receivable into cash during a specific period. It is calculated as net credit sales divided by average accounts receivable. From the following information calculate accounts receivable turnover ratio. This formula is used to find the accounts receivable turnover ratio. In this question, Net credit sales are not given. So first we will figure out net credit sales by subtracting cash sales of $2,000 from total sales of $20,000. Net credit sales are $18,000. This formula will be used to find the average accounts receivable. Opening accounts receivable is $2,000 plus closing accounts receivable is $4,000 divided by 2. The average account receivable is $3,000. The accounts receivable turnover ratio is six times. A high accounts receivable turnover ratio indicates that a company is efficient in collecting its debts and has a low risk of bad debts. Accounts payable turnover ratio is also known as creditors turnover ratio. It is the relationship between annual credit purchases and average accounts payable. This ratio measures how efficiently a company manages its accounts payable indicating the average number of times a company pays off its suppliers within a specific period. From the following particulars calculate accounts payable turnover ratio. Accounts payable turnover ratio is net credit purchases divided by average accounts payable. In this question net credit purchases and average accounts payable are not given. So first we calculate both of them to find out the net credit purchases. Cash purchases and purchase returns will be subtracted from the total purchases. The amount of net credit purchases is $30,000. This formula will be used to find the average accounts payable. Average accounts payable is $5,000. The accounts payable turnover ratio is 6 times. The inventory turnover ratio, also known as the stock turnover ratio, it is a financial ratio that measures how many times a company turned over its inventory relative to its cost of goods sold in a given period. It is calculated as the cost of goods sold is divided by the average inventory. From the following information, calculate inventory turnover ratio. The amount of cost of sales is $20,000. The average inventory is not given and calculated as Beginning inventory $2,000 plus ending inventory $8,000 divided by 2. The average inventory is $5,000. Inventory turnover ratio is 4 times. Total assets turnover ratio is calculated as. Net sales are divided by average total assets. Let's consider a company with the following information. The amount of net sales is $10,000 and average total assets $40,000. The total assets turnover ratio is 0.25. This means that for every dollar invested in its assets, the company generates 25 cents in sales. Fixed assets turnover ratio is calculated as net sales divided by average fixed assets. If a company net sales is $20,000 and average fixed assets are $5,000, the fixed assets turnover ratio is 4. This means that for every dollar invested in fixed assets, the company generates $4 in sales. If you like a video then please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for regular updates.